what does it mean to use in there you go what does it mean to use inverse operations and one thing I just kind of even thought of talking about was uh, I'm kind of playing around with um, some of the settings here on my camera and what you think about is how how does a camera so easily get um, different color schemes and so forth and a lot of it is actually with this inverse operations idea of kind of adding and subtracting um, you know the color scheme to be able to get or even I was thinking like black and white like inverting colors and stuff but that's a whole different conversation I'll get into but when we just want to talk about what is inverse operations let's take a look at the number three okay and if I take three and now I add one to it I get four right but now if I take if I add three and then I subtract one again my final value you could say is now equal to three so what happens was I added one and then I subtracted one got me back to my original value so the addition and subtraction are what we call inverse operations the reason why we call them inverse operations is they undo one another right I could have done this the other way if I say subtract two and then add two I'm still going to get to 3. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 plus 2 is back to 3. So addition and subtraction are inverse operations. And the other inverse operation that we're going to be talking about, at least for this module, is multiplication and division. Let's take 3 and let's multiply it by 5. And then let's divide it by 5. Well, 3 times 5 is 15. Divided by 5 gives you back a 3 again. And it works the same way, even if you're going to take 3 divided by 5 and then multiply by 5. Well, 3 divided by 5 will just leave us 3 fifths. Mul that, multiply that by 5, the 5's will cancel out, leaving you just with a 3. So when we're talking about inverse operations, they're operations that undo each other. And the reason why they're so important is because a lot of times we're, we're not going to have both the operations. I'm just going to say 3 plus 1. What operation will I have to do to get back to 3? And you'll have to say, oh, you're going to have to subtract the 1. And we'll talk about that later. But as long as you know inverse operations, adding and subtracting, adding and subtracting are inverse operations, as well as multiplication and division.